UFC 242 will see one of the most highly anticipated matchups in recent memory to unify the lightweight belt. Now to bring to the stage interim UFC lightweight champion and number eight ranked pound for pound fighter, Dustin Poirier. It's quiet here, man. What's up? And his opponent. UFC lightweight champion, number three ranked pound for pound fighter in the world, Habib Nurmagomedov. Can you reflect on the moment after you beat Max Holloway and you had that belt wrapped around your waist? You know, it, it exceeded what I thought it was gonna feel like. It, it, I felt uh, just very appreciative of the journey. The lessons I've learned through the, the victories and the knocks I've took. And uh, you know, it, it was just a, a big victory, a special moment in time for me and my, my team and my family. How's life been for you since UFC 2 to 9? I keep, I keep going and uh, this is not my last fight. And uh, what happened in 6 Oct October, it's just beginning uh, in my legacy. And um, I'm very excited about my comeback. Of course, we know Khabib is undefeated. Um, how are you looking to overcome the intense wrestling and pace that he puts on his opponents that we've seen in the past? It's going to be a, a very high-level fight. you got two guys on the pound-for-pound pound list. One of them is undefeated. Both of them are champions. Two champions are going in. One champion's coming out. You know, this is going to be a huge fight. I'm excited about it, and I'll, I'll, I'll make those openings that, that we're talking about. Dustin, in my eyes, is the, the most attractive fighter to watch in the stand-up game in the lightweight division. Is there not an element of your game wanting to test yourself on the feet with Dustin a bit more in this fight? I respect his game, I respect his box, but like September 7, uh, I have to do my job, like always. I can't, I can't sit up here and, and say that anything bad about the guy, he's good, um, he's the world champ. But I'm going to make things happen in there and, and bring him to places he's never been in there, so that's just it. You say. You've not finished what happened on October the 6th. Is a, is a, is a rematch possible down the line? <laughs> not the guy who, who don't win nothing last three years, you know. I have a lot of walks without him. And uh, right now I'm focused on September 7th. My life is, is a movie, you know. My life is like a Rocky movie. This is going to be fun. I accept the challenge. I'm excited about it. I embrace all of this. And uh, I just want to show everybody how great I can be and, and what I have inside of me, you know. It is great to be here in the Middle East in Abu Dhabi. This is what I do. I live for this every day. What we're seeing is Dustin Poirier. Oh! Massive right from Nurmagomedov! He is relentless, he is ruthless, he smashes people. This is my style, crush my opponents. Dustin, I just, I just want to go to you. You know, your last fight out, you said, hey, I'm fighting for a piece of the world title. You know, you didn't like the, the, the interim tag. Piece of the world title. Now it's the whole world title. You know, the great ones go out there and find ways to win. I'm going to go out there and try to be great in Abu Dhabi and bring the undisputed belt back to the United States. That's the plan. Give us an idea of your thoughts on Dustin. Where does he rank as an opponent in terms of the biggest challenges of your career? How difficult is this fight with Dustin for you? You never fight with guy who all the time wrestling with him, like my style. I think it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a tough night for him. This is my opinion because you have to be ready. I'm gonna wrestle with him all night, make him tyrant and make him tough. This is my plan. People talk about, about his six win streak. What about 27 win streak? And 11, 11 years undefeated. And, you know, I, know, I, I don't underestimate this guy. I know he's a tough challenge, but this guy is not in my level. You don't want to drive? You, just, you want someone to drive you around? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, much better because yeah. you're trying. You know? Just landed 21 hour travel. We hear though, it's going down. Fight week, Abu Dhabi. Yeah. I just put this stuff in here. Yeah, sure, sure. However you come. It was really cool to see how excited the people were for me to be here, for the event to come here. And I know in the build up to this, I, I was saying I'm coming into enemy territory and hostile territory, but man, I don't feel that way at all. Welcome to your home. 
So this is, you know, this is a big deal. This is a big fight on the world scale. This is nice. Private pool. Beautiful. Definitely gonna use this. For sure. Yeah. You know, I plan on shaking up the world Saturday, September 7th. I'm showing what I'm made of. Um, training's going good here. You know, the time change, I do feel it. I feel like every day it's, getting, it's gonna be a little bit better. So I've been grinding and grinding and chasing this dream and chasing gold and chasing unifying this gold. You're gonna travel and fight one of the most dominant champions. Let's go get it, champ, let's go get it. Father always make competition with everything. <laughs> Friends, brothers, all close people. And this one is not all teams, like people still coming tomorrow, after tomorrow, every day people gonna land it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be huge, huge event. <laughs> Three days before we in, and uh, we're gonna be tough like always. You know, today we were working on uh, striking, uh, getting ready for the fight, working on the particular drills that we want to implement in, in the fight. Habib is looking stronger than ever. Uh, I believe we were a little bit further ahead than his previous fight. Yeah, it's a dry heat yeah. though today. You're right, it's not as humid. Oh, f I forgot my scale. No, you got it. Check that out. Get in on there. Get in, get in on there. Get in on there. What do you got there? You got a pinky ring, bro. Ooh. Don't let it get you. In your bag, they also sent you some fighter specific stuff with your name. Oh, yeah? Nice. Yeah, yeah. I see that hat. Check that out. Got my Fleur de Lee on there. Last time I was large, right? Yes. Yeah. That said number it was Smell, fighting smell. You know, because of new, when I go to the cage, I always, because we fight like this. Looking good? What do you think? Let's go home. Rizvan, it's the same belt. Mm -hmm. Every time he defends it, they'll add a ruby to it. See you Saturday night, brother. I cannot go to the act again with underestimate my opponent. Real veteran move. The guy wraps his own hands. Cinderella, man. Only you and Andre are the guys that do that. But that. I don't know, champ. This is. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Dustin, the Diamond Perry. How many times in your life do the stars align? And, and the universe give you an opportunity to truly be great in a country across the world you've never been to. I have an opportunity to be great, and the great ones find a way, and I'm gonna find a way Saturday night, baby. You know, this is my 41st mixed martial arts fight. I feel like my whole career has, has groomed me and, and molded me for this night to capitalize and change my family's life, to write my name in the history books. They ask me about if I win, I'm gonna dance or no, but uh, you know, like my father told me, if you don't know how to dance, please don't dance, you know. This is not my style, you know. I wanna give them 
you know, attention, and that's why I always come talk with them, give some gift. They ask me what time is it. I want to ask you guys what time is it. I didn't hear you. Big, big energy, brother. Now we're gonna go to home, a little bit rest, training. This is incredible energy. Okay. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Good? Crazy week for you? Very tough. Yeah. Everybody tried to smash me. <laughs> what a lot of questions. I'll see Everything you out there. Good. Okay? See you. See you. All right. You're facing the guy who has a chance to go down as one of the best fighters of all time. You have a chance in two days to be the first man to ever beat him. How are you handling all that? I'm okay. handling well, man. I feel good. And I've been saying it all week. I have a chance to do something great. And I don't like poster, they call us champ process champ. This is not champ process champ. I'm the champ, he's interim champ. This is a big difference. I bring with me the tillers to take us oh, for yeah. the nice. indoor. Whatever we need to do. You want to start it with uh, which one? You want Let's to go. start it with you? Okay. Start with the champ. You can use it, that one. It's the same in your. Check if it's the same size or bigger or smaller. Is yeah, this supposed to be okay. just perfect? Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Does it's it okay. come in sizes? Yeah. This fits for all. This fits for all. Same size nice. for all, no? A little bit exciting, you know. I can drink, I can eat, and tomorrow night I can smash someone. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 242, Khabib versus Poirier. And now, without further delay, we present the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC 242. What's going on, folks? Thank y'all for coming out to the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC. The biggest fight in UFC history. Khabib Nurmagomedov, Conor McGregor. I've never been more excited for a fight. Oh! Massive right from Nurmagomedov! There's the tap! Still undisputed! Look at him screaming at the corner. Oh, no. No! All hell is broken loose! Live from State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, USA, this is UFC 236. Everything I have is through fighting. Everything that I've accomplished, I never finished ninth grade. I know it probably is cliche, but I'm telling you the honest truth. I had nothing, and I'm setting my family up for the future with this, you know. A new interim lightweight champion of the world. There is only one king. Khabib Nurmagomedov, he has been unrivaled inside the octagon. He never fight with someone like me. Oh! When I go to the cage, I have to crush my opponents. It's like a Rocky movie. I get to go out there and against all odds, show who I am as a person and a fighter, represent myself, my family. Cage is gonna close. I'm gonna maul him, like always. Dustin the Diamond Poirier! 
championship weight, 155 pounds for Dustin Poirier. Abu Dhabi, this, this week has been amazing. The city's beautiful. The people here are beautiful. Thank you all. Tomorrow night, I unify these belts. Leave as the undisputed world champion. Abu Dhabi and all my fans around the world who come here. Thank you so much, guys. Always an honor, sir. We'll see you tomorrow night. Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's been such a good week. Um, the stars have aligned. This is a historic event. I'm trying to be the first person to do something. Um, you know, like, it, it's, it, this is a big deal to me. And, and uh, Tomorrow night I have an opportunity to put my hands in the air and say I'm the best in the world. I'm focused on five, five round fight, you know, I'm focused on this because I cannot think about, oh, second round or third round, I'm gonna finish. I'm focused on five round war. In the course of his reign over the UFC's lightweight division, the snapshots paint a terrifying picture where delusions get turned inside out, where lights go out and bodies go down. He is relentless, he is ruthless, screaming at the corner. Oh, hell has broken loose! Through 27 straight victories, the question grows more intense. Tonight, as the UFC returns to Abu Dhabi on the banks of the Persian Gulf, it's time to unleash hell. The Diamond of Louisiana, winner of five straight, and ready to do what no man has done before, and it starts right now. Ah, yes, Dateline Abu Dhabi UAB. There he is, the most dominant force in the game at present. UFC lightweight champion Khabib Nurmagomedov. The oncoming interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier. He broke through strong gold against Max Holloway just five months ago. The champions are out tonight. The UFC flyweight queen, Valentina Shevchenko. <laughs> Until I feel Khabib Nurmagomedov in there, I'm not totally sure what to expect. And all he thinks he needs is one takedown, and he says, Dustin Poirier will not get away, I will maul him. Khabib Nurmagomedov and Dustin Poirier, both 30 years of age, born just four months apart. Khabib is the taller man by one inch. Dustin Poirier will try to maximize what is a two-inch edge in reach. It's time! Dustin Diamond Poirier! Habib! The Eagle! The Mother of I want you to fight hard, I need you to fight clean. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch, now's the time. God bless. Fast double leg. And you see Poirier wide-eyed looking to his chief corner, Mike Brown, for some advice. And a takedown for Khabib. And this is where he wants to be. This is where he beats everybody. Now working on a little bit of a neck crank, not under the chin. Less than two minutes to go in the round. You see Nurmagomedov Medov wisely trying to Upset the breathing pattern of Poirier. So Dustin back to his feet, lands in knee to the body of Nurmagomedov. But no separation for Poirier. There's the trips. Those are what make the difference is that he trips you while he's clinching you. A lot of guys aren't using that at the same time. Poirier has really been put on the defensive early in this fight. Some nice ground strikes now from the champion. Oh, big elbow from Khabib! He's looking for submissions, waiting for me to explode. He's oh, letting... It's okay, but on the feet, we can be a little more offensive now. We can start letting our hands go. got him to work a little bit. Let's be smart this round, okay? Nice. Oh, yeah, with a big right hand. That pack from Michael Medov up. Khabib now on the retreat. Up against the fence. Take that. The speed on that double leg is just incredible. No fun. Team Ramago Medov and most people in this arena are. He'll try to drag Poirier down again here. And there's the trips, and it's just the back and forth battle of the trips and the upper body clinch that's just hard to deal with. Once he got himself together, it was right back to the normal game plan. Wrestle. <laughs> just not quite quick enough. 
Gets him off him for a second, and he sticks to the sticks to the guillotine to keep it, and that's in. Wow! Romago Meta pops his head out. Crowd goes bananas. Now a possible. Nope. Romago Meta bails. That's in. That's in. Romago Meta under the chin. There's the top. Khabib Nurmagomedov! The standard upon which all lightweights will be judged. Khabib Nurmagomedov submits Dustin Poirier in round three. This is just so difficult to do, and yet he continues to take on the lightweight division's best. This is his Hail Mary right here, Dustin Poirier. It's in, and he did not give up on it, but he softens him up a little and then sinks it in. And you see him get the hand behind the head, and he knows that that's it. And still the undisputed UFC. One of the greatest champions this octagon has ever seen, the undisputed lightweight king, the eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. We are backstage in Abu Dhabi, and I am joined by the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Khabib, how did it feel to get your hand raised here in Abu Dhabi with that crowd that just loved you? I win this fight. I finished this opponent, you know, it's a very tough opponent. And, uh, you know, uh, feeling good. What did you think about Dustin in there as an opponent, though? I mean, you've now faced 28 men in mixed martial arts. None of them have been able to defeat you. But how does he stack up amongst the ranks? He do a lot of charity stuff, you know. I respect him like fighter, like opponent, like human being, you know. And uh, end of the day, this is sport. And when we go to the cage, we try to smash each other. Do you want to take a long layoff? I mean, what are your initial thoughts right now? Next is Coca-Cola with ice <laughs> and and some steaks with burgers, you know? It's like, I'm very hungry. Can you just start giving your impressions of Habib's performance tonight? He looked unbelievable. He, uh, incredibly dominant, even though there was some, uh, some drama in there when, when he was caught in that guillotine. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't get out of that thing. If it's not Connor and uh, if it's not Tony Ferguson, who? Who against Habib did, next? Did you just ask okay. me if I'm going to rematch Connor and Habib? Is that, was that the question? Yeah. 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 Okay. Connor McGregor wants that fight really badly, and I'm sure the fans would want to see it. So we'll see how this whole thing plays out. You know, to speak a little more on Habib, he's the first fighter since Anderson Silva to start 12-0 and in the UFC. He's obviously 28-0 overall. How special of a fighter is he? To go undefeated um, this long with this many fights, uh, especially in a division that's, that's that stacked, he's, he's looking down the barrel of pretty special career. Obviously disappointing with the outcome tonight, but uh, now that you've had a little time to reflect on what happened in there, can you just give us you know, some more thoughts uh, aside from what you said in the cage? I was just so prepared you know, for tonight. This one really hurts. Uh... I wanted to leave tonight the world champ and uh, just let myself down, man. You seemed to wobble uh, Khabib in the second round. Uh, did you think you could potentially, potentially fit him, shim her, him at that point in the second round? I didn't go crazy like I usually do. I kind of pulled back after I threw a, threw a couple looping shots that missed. Uh, I think I threw a knee right after that that clipped him a little bit too. I think I hurt him with that as well. I just didn't do enough, you know, and uh, I have to live with it for the rest of my life. Once you, I guess, take some time off down the road, what happens next in your career? I thought the stars were aligning and I thought this was my night, you know, I thought this was like destiny, but I don't want to just keep crying up here in front of you guys, man, but this just means a lot to me. It was um, unbelievable to see how you fight, so keep your head and go ahead. You, you are a very good fighter. You are a very good fighter. Just go home, rest a little bit. God have a good future for you in the UFC. Don't worry. Can you just talk us through how the fight went relative to your expectations? Did you feel like you were going to be able to do what you did tonight and uh, you know, eventually submit Dustin? Of course I expect it's going to be a tough match. It's going to be a tough opponent. And, uh, and uh, it was a great match, I think. You know what's interesting in this sport? Even if you're 28 and old, 12 and old in UFC, you one of the biggest stars. You smash everybody. People are gonna talk about you have to fight with him, you have to fight with him, you have to fight with him. 
Give me just respect. Tell me what now that, that it's kind of over. Tell me what this whole week has been like for you. This has been so big for the region. You're kind of the reason why we're here, right? Uh, tons of pressure on you, tons of media obligations. Now that it's over, when you look back, just tell me what this week has been like for you. A lot of people, my close people come in to support me and I feel a little bit pressure. All my uncles come, my cousins, you know, it's like big, big family come and uh, and you know, it's like, I feel so much pressure. Talk us through what was going on in your mind during the second round. Because at that time, your Dustin, he landed a few punches and he seemed a little more dominant. He seemed like he was, he stood a chance. Uh, what did you feel about that? Nobody like, if someone punch your face, you know, this is no good. Please don't punch someone's face. If, you, if you're gonna punch people, nobody feel good.